Oh my goodness, Ace of Cups. Lovely, beautiful start. So your person, perhaps what they're thinking and feeling right now is either that there has been an opportunity presented and they are just brim brimming over with excitement and love for you, or this is what they're hoping for. We have the Empress in the reverse. We have strength. <laughs> Look how this cat has its tail wrapped around the lion's um, mouth here. So, okay. What I'm getting from this is your person could be restraining their passion for you, not speaking, but they're doing it in a kind of wily, savvy way. It's not by force. Um, so maybe they're kind of getting across how they feel. They're suggesting it or they're implying it or they're doing something and they're, they're hoping that you will infer from their behaviour how they feel. So it's not direct. It's... Um, it, it could even be quite calculated. So sometimes you might find that annoying. It depends how they're doing it. I'm not seeing anything yet that's concerning or malicious, but I get a feeling that, at least with you in this connection, um, or maybe it's how they're thinking of, of coming around or saying something, it's not like they want to come straight in and say, you know, here's my message or here's what I want to do. It's, they're kind of thinking, ooh, um, should I approach from the left and sidestep my way in or the right? You know, there's something indirect here. But they're thinking there's been a lot of missed potential in the past. It's really interesting though, and I'm very encouraged because we have the Ace of Cups first. So your person is reflecting and saying, here is a new opportunity. Yes, we could have had something that, that grew and flourished in the past, and that perhaps was missed or maybe um, not valued in some way but we have another chance now. So it's not that they're saying, oh, you know, we could have had it all, Adele. Um, they're saying, yes, we could have done, but now maybe we can have this again. So they could be reflecting and saying, where did things go wrong in the past? You know, how can I make the most of this opportunity here that I've been offered or that I'm wanting to offer? So interesting, as I was just saying, the way they're, they're thinking of approaching and communicating, it's always like a crab, you know, it, it, they're not going to come straight in. And then we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Wow. So your person has a clear message they want to get to you, but they, they are doing it in a kind of... It, they're being vigilant, but they're being quiet. You know how... I don't know if you've ever been out walking, for example, and you see someone walking their dog and there's a cat on a fence and the cat has noticed the dog, but they're so, so quiet. They just sit there on the fence and watch the dog pass. You know, they don't want to draw attention to themselves and the dog has no awareness that the cat was even there. That's kind of what I'm getting here. They're, they're thinking, they're on high alert. They might even be very vigilant in terms of trying to keep an eye on you if they can. Um, but yeah, I don't know, let's keep going. We have the Two of Swords, yep, yeah, very introspective. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I should say we have Taurus Libra energy and we have Taurus again here with the higher event. That's in the reverse. Oh, does somebody have to consider a pre-existing commitment? Is that why they're not, is that why they have to think of a way to speak to you, to reach out to you that's indirect because there's someone else around or um, this, connection that you both share maybe they feel in some way it goes against religion culture beliefs of like friends and family or something like that they're saying that in order to to have this ace of cups with you they have to break away from this commitment whether it's speak with you quietly see you quietly move this forward quietly or, or maybe it's i need to actually end this first completely you know get rid of that or or break away from whatever this is in order to have this new beginning with you but but this person they're saying nothing, but they're being very vigilant, um, doing lots of reflecting, really asking themselves, you know, I mean, this is first out, this is what they want, you know, this is, this is, if you take anything from this reading, your person's looking for a new beginning here. Um, but they're saying to themselves, okay, how do I not go down the same path as last time? How do we make the most of this? How can I move forward with this opportunity? In the past, for some of you, maybe things were moving forward, but because there was something kind of unique about your connection, um, whatever whatever made it unique perhaps created problems. So for example, if there's a cultural difference, if, if one or both people are married or in commitments, if there's an age difference, so whatever, you know, maybe your person felt uncomfortable for some reason or it was unfamiliar to them. I feel that's the reason things sort of 
couldn't flourish, you know, are the commitments, that kind of thing, whether it's to work, family, a spouse. Hmm. If people had things to say about your commitment in the past or your, your connection and your person listened to them, listened to this wrongful advice, it's like they're saying those people can just shut it. You know, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear what they have to say. I'm not even going to ask them. I'm not going to mention anything to them. Okay, one more, please. Thoughts and feelings. We have, oh my goodness, 10 of coins in reverse. I can tell you what your person wants to do. 10 of cups on the back. If you resonate with the message that your person has a pre-existing commitment, romantic or otherwise, that's in the way, they're saying, what I would love to do is get the hell out of there, is break that contract, break that commitment and come towards you. You represent complete emotional fulfillment, 10 of cups, you know, such happiness here. Um, however, there's something else in the way that represents 3D security. Now, I don't feel your person's worried about losing money or a home or anything like that. I think it's more... <sighs> You know, there, there seem to be other people involved in one way or another. How do I say to these people I'm leaving? How do I break free? I think they're happy to rebuild in, in a financial way or a tangible, you know, tangible 3D sense, but um, there would be a need to speak their truth. That's what they're asking themselves here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if your person has lots of responsibilities as well, um, or at least they're carrying a lot on their shoulders, whether they need to or not. Um, if your person is someone who has felt disempowered in the past, you know, I'm in a particular situation, I can't do anything about it, that sort of thing, I think they're feeling quite resentful to the people around them, whether that's fair or not. You know, they might be saying, oh, if only... I hadn't have signed that contract with you if only we didn't live together if only we weren't married you know then I could I could be single and free and I could be I could follow my happiness which is with you um so holding on to a lot here let's go to this ace of cups and then I want to go to strength I want to know what they're thinking what they're planning they're definitely planning something here so if you maybe haven't heard from them, it looks like they want you to speak. Um, if you're waiting for something here, it's, you know, I'm seeing not to give up hope because there is, um, there's some movement that's going to happen, but your person seems like someone who won't be rushed. We do have a lot of Taurus energy here. In um, the Empress card, we have the Hierophant, also the Knight of Pentacles. So whether they are a Taurus or Earth sign or not, I'm just getting that they're saying, I will not rush this. You know, I'm going to plan my steps ahead. I want to try and, um, make sure we can be successful here um, and they're very serious about you and, and how they feel about you okay ace of cups please oh ten of swords my goodness so something does have to end in order for them to have this new beginning and they might feel like if they speak their truth they're going to get attacked from all sides and they're just going to have to sit there and take it so they've got to be ready for that. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. They don't want to miss this chance with you again. I have this strong feeling that your person, the person you're here for, has missed an opportunity with you in the past. And, you know, they're saying, yeah, I, I don't want to do that again. I can see now, reflecting, how amazing we could have been together, everything we could have had together. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. That's the only thing. How do I speak my truth? Okay, let's look at strength. What's going on here? Mm, we have the Emperor in the reverse, the Emperor and the Empress. So Aries energy, also possibly Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energy. We have the Moon here, Pisces energy. Um, okay, your person is keeping a big secret from everybody around them. And that secret is that you are the one. They have never felt this way about anybody else. We have many, well not many, we have four different groupings of Kings and Queens in Tarot. We only have one Emperor and one Empress and they're side by side here. They're not upright, they're not on the same page, so there is some kind of a disconnect, but your person's wanting to, you know, to connect with you, to get things moving, and it's such a secret. I almost feel your person has not shared how they feel about you with anyone. And if they have, it's going to be like the most trusted friend, or maybe a professional who's contractually obliged not to share their information, like a counselor or someone like that. Um, yeah, big, big, 
big, big secret, huge secret. There are some fears around this that they they want to break away from their commitments, their responsibilities, and to be with you. And I feel this is someone who takes their responsibilities very, very seriously. They have a real strong sense within themselves of who they are, what kind of person they are, what they do, you know, what they don't do. And um, maybe they said to themselves, once I make a commitment, I'm in it for life. And actually they're saying, well, I don't really want to be in this anymore. You know, I've done what I can, I've given what I can, but I'm not happy. So there's a big change that needs to be made here. Okay, so let's have a look then and see what it is they want to say to you. So let's specifically look at this Knight of Swords. Okay, Spirit, can you show us? So this person, what do they want to say to my viewer? What does my viewer's person want to say to them? <clears throat> <laughs> we have the Knight of Swords reversed, clarified by the Knight of Swords in reverse. So the first message for you is, I really do want to say something to you. I am desperate to speak to you. So I'm excited to see what it is they're wanting to say because um, <clears throat> it's almost about to explode from them. Okay, what do they want to say, please, Spirit? What do they want to say to my you? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, six of cups. I heard I remember you. I don't know. I don't know that they would actually say to you, I remember you, because I don't think there's even a possibility that they've forgotten you. I think it's more like my soul remembers you. Maybe they want to say something about how when they first met you in this lifetime, it felt like not a meeting for the first time, but it felt like a remembering. They might also feel that you are, you know, we have this mirror here. It's not really reflecting, you know, something back at us we're seeing straight through but it looks like a mirror to me so maybe they felt that you were like the other half of them they knew this the emperor the empress they knew this straight away they might want to say as well that they've missed you if you haven't been in their life for a while if you haven't been communicating they feel that you are this um queen of cups energy you know male female whether you have water in your chart or not really much at all or any <clears throat> this person saying I feel so seen and cared for and nurtured by you. You're so compassionate. And I have missed that. Um, I've missed you. I want to reconnect with you. You feel like home to me. And, you know, you felt that way from the first time that we met. It felt like a remembering. Um, maybe they were feeling they didn't realise it until they met you, but something happened and it changed things for them. And they realised, you know what? Maybe I thought I had loved before or been in love. But now that I've met you, something has been awoken in me um something i didn't even know was there you know and now i want to be with you there's a child here sitting on a suitcase so um there could be children involved but i get that they feel reborn they feel renewed this is giving me um feelings of the sun card you know like we, we've been on a long journey i think this, the sun is the number 19 um <clears throat> in the major arcana but i'm ready i'm ready for a new beginning i'm ready for a rebirth here and wanting to just, you know, children follow what feels good, typically, you know, unless they're in very difficult situations. Um, so following their joy, that's what they're wanting to do, is just to sort of put their joy first, what they want first, um, and to just, you know, to just go for it, to not have to be this responsible emperor for, you know, or to in a situation maybe they don't really want to be in anymore. <clears throat> What I was going to say is for people who um, aren't really grateful. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they feel that. Okay, what else, please? What else do they want to say to my viewer? Page of Pentacles. Okay, so more child energy. I'm feeling, this is them saying, I feel joyful i feel a carefree abandon you know when i think of you when i'm with you also this could be them saying i want to to offer something to you i have a gift for you <clears throat> they could be creating something because you see how this rose is coming from her head and and here it is manifested so maybe they are making something creating something to give to you or they have an idea in their head that they want to bring into fruition here I think there's a really there's a, a real sweetness here there's no question there are romantic feelings and that they i feel would marry you or make a, an incredibly high level of commitment if they were given the chance 
Um, but also there are these deep, deep feelings of, um, you know, like f um, a deep friendship respect um i'm hearing kindred spirit so even if this person's almost saying even if we can never be together <clears throat> as the emperor and the empress you know that would be their highest goal but they would still at the very least want to have you in their life even if it meant on some level they would be in a bit of pain you know because they would want more with you they're saying um this connection it's just so strong it's so sweet it's you mean so much to me you know this this goes beyond the 3d it goes beyond this lifetime okay what else please so i'm noticing this rose has no thorns so whatever they want to give to you they want it to just be a complete delight they don't want any any difficulty any pain any trauma if they cause pain in the past they want to make sure they're not going to do anything or say anything that will hurt you again we have the three of pentacles okay so um they could be thinking well what if i take a practical approach maybe this is a way we can reconnect maybe we can work on something together you know three of pentacles here it's like maybe they're offering something and saying what do you think of this do you want to team up with me or, or something like that perhaps um maybe they feel this is a safer way in they might not get so much judgment from people around them um they could be defaulting too much on practicality you know if they're finding it difficult to talk about their feelings here but this person just just wants something that's harmonious with you something that you can both feed into um let me look more at this page of pentacles here oh okay yeah ace of cups absolutely so we're back to this ace of cups so your person is actually very very focused on taking this opportunity whatever this opportunity is that they already have with you now or they're trying to create and um the way they're going to try and move this forward seems to be through a tangible gesture. So a gift, an idea, um, <clears throat> something you can both be active with, around, on, whatever this is. So not just words, not just feelings, something that will keep bringing you together. So maybe that's what this wily sort of um, analytical energy here is that I was feeling. Your person's kind of saying, well, <clears throat> while yes i do want to just give you a gift also in a practical sense if we're working on something together we'll have to keep seeing each other so, <laughs> you know may, maybe that's what they're thinking um mm, let's see what's on the back we have justice in the reverse libra energy so something is imbalanced something hasn't happened in the best way in the past and i think they're wanting a do over here okay so let's see what is it they hope will happen long term so short term yeah, making a steady plan, coming towards you with an offer, an opportunity, or maybe taking up an opportunity that's here between you and both of you actively being involved in something, whether it's, you know, something you're doing together, whether it's your connection, um, that's their short-term plan. So let's see what their true highest hopes are, not what they feel they might have to settle for, not what they want, you know, today or tomorrow, but when they think of three of pentacles game when they think of the both of you into the future what is it they're wanting what do they hope for oh. we have the queen of wands she landed in reverse on the floor let me um check and see if it's if she's reversed or upright okay oh yeah we'll take that as reversed Hmm. If you have felt that you're the third, like, if your person's in a commitment and you have felt on the outside of that, like you're an option or you've been pushed outside of things, whatever that commitment is, you know, they just haven't prioritised you. I think they're wanting to change that around. You may have had this feeling that to your person you were someone unobtainable, attractive, desirable, but someone they weren't really showing enough respect to or appreciation for. Ten of Wands in reverse, and this is something that weighs heavily on them. So they want to change that behaviour. They want you to know that you are valued by them. We have the High Priestess, yeah, because it's something they kept to themselves. So your person hopes that they can, they're going to be able to tell you everything about how they feel. They're saying maybe in the beginning, you know, um, we might have to keep it kind of practical or... First of all, I've got to speak my truth to someone else or to some other people in order to be able to be free 
to open up to you, but eventually I want you to know truly how much you mean to me <clears throat> and what I've been carrying for so long and what I've not been sharing. Wow, the tower. Okay, so we have Scorpio energy here. Um, a whole new beginning, a brand new beginning. This person would love to just chuck themselves out of whatever construct they have around them that they have been born into or that they have built themselves and they just want a new start to be with you. They might also be hoping that something from the universe or the divine, <clears throat> excuse me, will come in and chuck them from the tower, you know, give them that helping hand so they can almost say, well, I didn't have a choice. Oh, look, three of pentacles. <clears throat> again <laughs> your person sees a lot of potential within you and within this connection they actually feel that you <clears throat> whatever you turn your attention to it grows that you are both um i just i very strongly heard the word psychic okay fine what i was actually trying to say is um spiritual maybe intuitive you know um maybe they know you're, you're into things like co-creation conscious manifestation um if it's not that, they've just seen that you've had certain dreams and goals and, and you've made them happen. But they, you know, they see you're very practical as well and grounded. So the prospect of teaming up with you in some sort of way is very exciting to them. Um, there are so many levels on which this connection is working. Your person, like I said, they have this deep respect and friendship, familiarity. You feel like family to them, you know, like they've known you in many lives before. You feel like home. They have this desire to, to be sort of your long-term partner your spouse here um they also want to maybe work with you in the actual sense of work here so so much <clears throat> it's like they feel you can do it all and that together you you really could do all of these things and be amazing okay eight of pentacles in reverse oh queen of swords the devil goodness see they want to be thrown from the tower which feels just like it's um it's a heavy heavy burden to them they're tied to the tower for some reason that they no longer want to be there could be a capricorn involved here as well oh goodness okay so who is this queen of swords is this this someone they're keeping secrets from if it's you know like a karmic a spouse uh, maybe this queen of swords represents a group of people let's go in let's start with this ten of wands eight of um, pentacles reversed the sun in reverse and i was just talking about that earlier so we have leo here Keeping their feelings quiet, we have romantic feelings here on the back, lots of fantasizing and daydreaming, is a huge weight for them, and apparently this wants to stay out, to carry. Um, if they could, they're saying, whatever it is I want to start working on to give to you, to offer to you, or to team up with you on, I would start putting in the work now. So whether it's something tangible and practical, whether it's I want to start working on this connection with you, um it's th this you know that's currently what they're fantasizing and daydreaming about but we keep having this energy of oh but there's a block so let's see what's this queen of swords sagittarius energy temperance in reverse this is someone who could be emotionally dependent on your person <clears throat> financially dependent someone who maybe is unpredictable with their emotional reactions to things someone who's causing a lot of turbulence in your person's life there could be definitely there could be codependency here and maybe this person if it's just one person does lean on your person for a sense of grounding so maybe this person's head is in the clouds whereas your person's very very practical and at some point in the past okay that that made some sort of a balance but it's it's not really healthy or sustainable long term and that's why your person's wanting out if the queen of swords represents a situation or a community or group of people i feel your person saying it's no good for them anymore um, and they're impatient to get away. Temperance can talk about divine timing and patience. Um, and within, on a soul level, it's very distressing for them. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. I get the feeling there is one particular person around your person who's given up. They've given up on self-improvement, on earning their own money, perhaps, on, you know, being a, an in strong, independent individual which I think is important even if you're in, say, a relationship with someone. This person seems to have just given up completely and now they're just looking to your person 
for grounding, stability, finances, um, whatever it is. And I think maybe this person is this way because they're bitter about something. It's almost like, well, you did this to me in the past, so now here is your punishment. I'm just going to be this heavy weight, you know, around your ankles that you have to drag around everywhere. Yeah, we have the lovers. At some point with Gemini energy, um, <clears throat> this, this situation, connection, community, religion, tradition, whatever it is that your person seems to be attached to but not wanting to be attached to, it wasn't always a heavy weight. At some point there was a feeling of harmony and balance, but it was not truly the lover's energy. It was an illusion. And now your person's seeing the truth. You know, we have the devil here. I mean, these people are exactly the same, but um, it's like the truth has been revealed about whatever this situation is. So your person's highest hopes to be free, to be single, to have the Ten of Cups with you, to tell you about just how much they love you and respect you and, and, and admire you and to have everything with you, really. Um, they do see that they might have to build up slowly with you um, for several reasons. You know, it depends how you feel about them. Maybe it's you haven't spoken for a while and you're, you're reconnecting, taking those first sort of tentative steps. Um, maybe they're saying we'll build up slowly while things around us shift into place you know um but ultimately ultimately their highest hope is to just have a complete new beginning with you okay so let's see what action they may take oh my goodness i wanted to pull message cards okay let me do um their action oh i'm so mad okay <laughs> what action will they take and then i'll get you some um, messages okay oh the hermit in reverse virgo energy so if your person has been very very quiet and i know they're quiet right now um, but if they've been quiet for a while it looks like they're saying okay i do plan i do actually plan to come out of hermit mode with all my wisdom that i've gathered and to speak my truth Yep, Age of Pentacles, perfect, amazing. They plan to put work in. I really feel your person, it's like they have a goal in mind, a fixed goal, which is either to reach out to you or to respond to you or to offer you a gift or to take you up on an offer, something like that. That's decided. Um, that's what they plan to do. That's the action they're going to take. I can't, I don't think it will necessarily be like today or tomorrow. It might be. Um, but I, your person's almost trying to come up with a whole plan here they might be thinking a bit too far ahead um trying to plan out the next 78 steps ahead instead of like the next 10 um but that's their goal and your person's saying i would rather take my time and not rush it and actually have this proper stable beginning with you we have the empress in reverse again i do not want to miss out on all of the abundance here again i don't want to lose you for my life again so it could be a few days it could be like a, a few weeks maybe um i don't feel months months feels too long so maybe days to weeks um but yeah their intention is 100 percent gain clarity wisdom then come forward and put in the effort here five of wands reversed justice in reverse i feel anyone who has a problem um is being ignored by your person um there's a feeling that they don't want there to be interference. They don't want crossed wires. They don't want for you to have an idea, an agenda, for them to have one, for your, your friends and family to have a different one, for their friends and family. You know, maybe there was a bit of chaos in the past or conflicting energies, intentions, wishes. Um, they're saying, I don't really want that anymore. You know, maybe that's something they're trying to figure out as well. How can I move this forward? How can we move this forward in a way where as many people as possible are just on the same page? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands reversed. King of Swords. So, <clears throat> because they're taking a minute to plan, it's almost like this passionate impulse may pass, but the passion is still there within. They're just saying, that's not how I'm coming forward. I'm coming forward as someone who's got their thoughts in order. I'm coming forward as a king of swords here. 
which is someone who is, you know, they've they've done their research, um, learned everything they need to know about a particular subject. Um, they're good with communication. So your person's currently asking themselves, what exactly is it that I'm needing to say? What do I want to say? You know, um, this feels very important to them. It feels like a new start and they're saying, this is um, it's a big deal for me and I plan to show up. And with the Eight of Pentacles, that's consistent, dedicated effort and energy. You know, giving to something every day or every week or whatever's appropriate for the both of you. We have, yes, yeah, see the Nine of Swords. One thing your person is saying they do not want is outside interference, confusion, chaos. So that's something they do worry about. Okay, Justice in Reverse, please. The Knight of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, I think in the past, looking back at their behaviour, they're saying, I wasn't really as, as committed to this as I should have been. I might have made you feel like you were just a brief flirtation or you were a way to pass the time or you were interesting or you distracted me. I, I need you to see that I'm actually serious about you. We have the three of wands on the back in reverse and we have strength underneath. Ooh, and the fall. Oh my goodness, with the ace of cups. Yeah, so, I mean, this is the new beginning. It, your person's feeling like it took an absolute age for this new beginning to happen. I don't feel they're placing blame. I just think they're saying, you know, I've wanted this for so, so long that I'm, I'm determined with strength to overcome any of this devil energy. I'm going to make this happen. We have the fall, we have the ace of cups. Um, page of cups is in reverse. Ooh, with the ace of pentacles reversed. So, and the knight of swords reversed. I do think it will take a little bit longer than you're wanting. So of course, you know, maybe you're wanting to hear today or this week or something, but I think it's gonna be worth the wait. I really do. Okay, let me go to these messages. I always forget something. I was so happy with myself that I remembered to say about personal readings and then I forgot the messages. Okay. So messages please, spirit, from this person to my viewers. We have unworthy, you're a better person than I am. Hmm, okay. So they may have felt this way in the past. They possibly still feel this way now, but it's not in the sense of like, oh, I'm, I think I'll hide in the corner and, and not draw attention to myself because you'll realize I'm not worthy. It's almost like, let's say you were to get married or something tomorrow, this person would always be in awe of the fact that they, you know, they get to be with you. It's that kind of a thing. We have holding back. I should have expressed myself better. Yeah, and that's one of their highest hopes now, that they can find a way to tell you everything about how they see you, how they feel about you, how they've always felt about you. Perhaps even why they made some of the choices they did in the past. We have overwhelmed. This, the stress from this is draining me. Um, I don't think there's any stress from you or this connection at this time. I do feel they're stressed in this other situation. Um, possibly they're overthinking. We do have the Nine of Swords. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't think they're overwhelmed in terms of thinking about you. Maybe that's the other situation. We have habits. I don't know if we will ever change. I can't, I don't know how that fits. I'm not feeling how it fits anywhere. So I'll come back to that with a card, tarot card. Um, absence, I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Yeah, I can see that. Secrets, I haven't told you everything underneath holding back. And that's, you know, I haven't told you how I felt, how I've missed you, how I felt when we first met. Reciprocity, I want to have equal give and take. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, right now your, your person's really focused on giving. Eight of pentacles, three of pentacles. Um, okay. Damage, we are both hurting from this. Is this the other person, if there's one specific person? whoever that is, um, you know, they might be saying to this person, look, I don't know if you and I, if we, if we will ever change. We've tried, or I don't know if they've tried or not, um, but right now it's just, we're just hurting each other. Yeah, I think that's probably what that is, but let me see. Yeah, 
yeah five of swords ten of swords it's something your person wants to end because right now they're in this five of swords place five is a difficult number to stay in it's a it's a number of transition six of swords would be packing bags moving on that's where your person has not got with this other person or situation so what they're wanting to say to that person is look we're both set in our ways now if we're not going to reconnect at this point we never will we're just damaging each other we're just hurting each other so let's bite the bullet and let's go through this painful ending so we can both have new beginnings elsewhere. Okay, so let's get you some messages from spirit, some guidance, some advice. We've got tarot and then I'll pull from the animal spirit guide's deck. Okay, so spirit, what is your best guidance and advice please, for my viewer at this time? We have justice, so justice is coming in for you. Um, we have Libra energy here. Oh, King of Pentacles, nice. And look, with the Three of Pentacles in the um, image here. So, you know, this feels like such a hopeful message. It feels very, um, very sensible, very grounded. You know, your person's focused on this, this new beginning, this opportunity with you, and they're going to come through as a King of Pentacles. I mean, how perfect is that in terms of someone who's sticking around? And that's your justice. That's what you're deserving here. So maybe you've been working a lot on yourself or self, you know, self-improvement. Maybe you've been putting out a lot of good karma. If you've needed to make any changes, perhaps you've, you know, you've done that. I feel that you're ready for this new beginning here. Okay, yeah, Six of Cups, a reconciliation. And you know, interestingly, the Six of Cups is normally, there's two people, right? Here, it's just one girl and she's got all of these glasses of like pink lemonade or something. It's like, hmm, all of this is for me, yum. So <laughs> I think you've um, you've got some really nice stuff coming in, in this connection and it's all for you. And it's, that's, you know, what you deserve is what I'm seeing. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords, Two of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, a new start, something that may be, um, it might even stretch you a bit, you know, outside of your comfort zone, but it's exciting. We have the King of Cups reversed. We have the Emperor in the reverse. We have the Six of Wands. Wow, for some of you, slightly separate message has come in here at the end. If you are in a commitment with somebody else who is not your person here, and this person is a bit of a tyrant, emotionally difficult, a bit oppressive, a bit controlling, and they're mainly concerned with how things look. Spirit might be suggesting you really think about moving away from this person or moving on from them. Um, if that resonates with you, I think this is something you've been thinking about already for quite a while, and I feel Spirit is encouraging you because there's someone out here that's better for you. And even if there wasn't, honestly, Spirit's saying you, you deserve more than this, you know, someone trying to be controlling, someone who maybe is saying, no, you have to stay because of what, of what the neighbours will think, you know, you deserve more than that. Um, okay. So, oh, we have one already. We have Snow Leopard. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. So maybe this is about de um, disconnecting for a while. You know, go for a walk, don't take your phone, um, or rather just put it on silent. You know, I don't know, you might need it for an emergency. Um, have a night off from doing emails or something like that. Just take some time for yourself. And I feel this is not necessarily for healing or grounding or anything like that. I think you're in a pretty good place. I think this is more like for gratitude, appreciation for both you, the universe, your person, and you know, also yourself here. It's about taking the time, giving yourself the time to say, wow, I've got all of these amazing glasses full of this delicious drink. They're all for me. And this is all my reward because of the work I've put in. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm excited. I can't, I'm just going to sit in this energy. You know, it's giving yourself time off to say, wow, I'm in, I'm in a really good place and I'm excited for the future. We also have dog. Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. And here, that ties in with this second um, message that came in about for some of you, there is someone here who absolutely does not deserve you in their life for a second longer. And I feel there's a message that this person is not going to change. Um, so Spirit is saying, if you have been considering stepping away from them, yes, that's, that's really for your highest and best good. So take that if it resonates, of course, it's your decision. Um, 
the spirits saying for some of you someone here does not deserve to be in your life but in general for everyone i think um, regarding your person it's kind of a time to be to sit in excitement anticipation you know those really nice uh, positive feelings okay so i will leave this here thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful and maybe answered some of your questions if you'd like to leave a question for the one question one card draw on friday um please go ahead and leave it in the comments um what else i will be back on wednesday to do a reading that's all about messages from your person to you at this time and i think that is it so um thank you for watching take care and i will hopefully see you then bye